So this is a down and dirty video, no preparation. As you can see, I just came from the gym a little while ago. Uh, a lot of people always ask me how to make intranasally delivered peptides. This is very popular for things like oxytocin, uh, PE2228 and others. Uh, you start off with your peptide. In this case, this is uh, 10 milligrams of oxytocin from Peptide Sciences. You can get these online. These are metered intranasal sprayers. They're everywhere online. Uh, this sprayer delivers 0.12 milliliters with each pump, and it holds uh, a full ounce. We're not going to need all of that. And since we're using oxytocin, the uh, human doses for oxytocin are between 24 IUs and 50 IUs that have been used in research. And so since we have a 10 milligram vial, we have to convert that to IUs first. And so what we want to end up delivering is with every pump about 50 IUs of oxytocin. So for that, we're going to start out with pop the lid on our oxytocin. We're gonna pull out 15 ml. And this is gonna take a little while because we're moving a lot of fluid at one time. That's the saline. Yeah, this is back, This is, all this is is back to, thank you, Elisa. This is uh, basically uh, bacteriostatic saline for injection. It's sodium chloride solution. And if you went into Walgreens to look for like nasal um, moisturizer, they'll sell you basically saline with a small little bit of benzyl alcohol in it as a measure to keep it from developing any bacteria because you're sticking it in your nose. And obviously you should produce one of these for everybody who wants to use it, uh, not just one and everybody sticks it in their nose in your household. So we get the air out of that. So now we have 15 milliliters of bacteriostatic saline for injection. We're gonna put just a small amount of it into the vial to reconstitute the oxytocin. And we'll let that do its thing for a couple minutes. The rest of it, we're gonna put right into the nasal sprayer bottle. There, put the cap back on here, and we'll swirl that around. It's dissolved, pretty much dissolved. Okay, now we're going to pull it out and put it into the nasal spray dispenser. Come on, it's a big, it's a big, 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 big needle to get into a small little peptide bottle. Pull that out. Oh, I don't think I'm in the right place. Let's see where I am. You know what it is? There's no air in this, this bottle. I'm having a hard time. I'll just edit that out. Let's put a, a little air in the bottle. Now we turn it back upside down and the liquid should come out a little easier now. It is. Here we go. We get all that good oxytocin back out. There it is, empty. And we put it right in here. Put the atomizer back on, swirl it a little bit. So everything kind of mixes around together. And it's probably better to let it sit overnight. It definitely will dissolve more and more. Overnight is more than enough. 
and we'll just give it a couple pumps to bring it up. There we go, it's loaded. So now you can put it in your fridge. Now that it's reconstituted. And in the morning, take it out. So one spray, the way I did this is, I took uh, basically 10,000 micrograms, is 125 doses at 50 IUs per spray, because the sprayer puts out 0.12 milliliters. Now you're gonna have to do the math on your own for every single type of peptide that you are going to make intranasally, but this is how easy it is to make a, a proper intranasal uh, delivered peptide. Now obviously you can really get down and dirty and buy a bottle of already made saline for irrigation, and but you'll have to do the math based on how much liquid is in there, and you can do the same thing, reconstitute and squirt it in there and shake it around and put it in the fridge. But I like to do this way because those spray bottles, you don't get consistent delivery. With this, every single pump is 0.12 milliliters, so you know you're getting 50 micrograms, I mean, sorry, 50 IUs of the oxytocin which eats with each spray. So there you go, easy stuff, get busy.